Hey everyone, I want to show you how to duct tape together your own RGB controller for the uh, Streamer Plus series from Lian Li. So Lian Li has, can, has fitted the uh, Streamer Plus series with a JSTPH connector, uh, an 8 pin JSTPH. White is power, 5 volts. The opposite side of that here is ground, and then the six in the middle are data. So each of those data pins is going to connect to a data pin of the ESP32. So I have decided to use 12, 13, 14, 25, 26, and 27 uh, for data on the streamer. And the purple, which is the outside connector, is 5 volts. I have that connected straight to a Molex. And the reason I'm using Molex is because we're only using the 5 volt side, not the 12 volt side. So, with the Molex connector, you can just pop out the 12 volt side with a paper clip. You can't do that with SATA, so if you if you just cut them off, now you end up with uh, cut off wires that could possibly cause a short. Well, anyway, I don't want to use five volts to power this board. I'm going to power the board straight through USB, and the reason for it is because if we power this with a uh, Molex connector directly from the power supply, um, this could backfeed power into the USB header and potentially blow it out. So I don't want to, I don't want to mess with it. The quality of these things is kind of questionable. So I want to keep the power separate as much as possible. So this connects directly from the power supply to the streamer itself. The only thing connected to the board from the PSU will be ground. So there are two ground pins on this ESP32. So I'm going to connect one to the strimmer and the other one to the power supply. So this is going to the power supply through the Molex connector. And then this one is going to the strimmer. And again, this is the power from the Molex connector. So now with this soldered on, we have to have a way of coupling the two female um, JSTPH connectors. So what I use for that is just a JSTPH header. And obviously the side that has the connector shroud is going to be harder to disconnect. So I like to connect that side to the board and that fits like this. Now you don't have a shroud on this side, so you gotta be careful with how you connect your strimmer. You don't wanna blow anything out. Remember purple is connected to five volts and black is connected to ground. So we wanna connect the purple side to the white side and make sure that everything is lined up properly. And that's it. Of course, this board now has to be insulated. So for insulation, I like to use this thing called 3M Temflex tape. All right, I found my tape and I've gotten it wrapped up. So I've left these buttons exposed so that you still have access to them. Everything like over here is ground, so the rest does need to be covered, you know, if you're going to be putting it in a metal case without like properly mounting it. And so now we're good to go.